Welcome to the fifth part of my guide to A1000. This time we're going to cover eight rooms A000 to A100. So when you join the rooms, uh, go ahead and buy the shake. That's only 10 gold. Uh, you probably won't need it for anything, but just a cool ritual that I always do. You don't have to do it, so yeah. Now you can now start progressing. Now, uh, the rooms is resemble the empty office area and it is similar to the hotel it, it you progress by opening doors there are entities that come out to kill you there are a bunch of batteries scattered around and a lot of gold you can pick that up for extra knobs the batteries will be useful because as you progress the rooms will get darker and darker so making so having a flashlight is essential uh, w why not use the shake light? It's so much better. Uh, it it's you can just shake to recharge it. You don't need batteries. Well, because the shake light makes a lot of noise, and in the rooms, um, mo like all the entities are based on sound cues. None of them do anything with the lights or anything. So everything is based on sound cue. And when you're shaking the light, it is super loud. As you probably heard in in the part that I was shaking it so definitely do not use the shake light now this is also why I told you to buy the flashlight in the pre-run shop before the game starts this because having the flashlight makes the rooms a lot more easier than just walking through pure darkness for like 900 rooms or something so as I told you before there are it, our goal is to get to room A1000 and we're at 820 right now, so this will take you quite a while. So definitely uh, try this challenge in a, in, a, in a time where you, you have a lot of free time uh, to use up. So until A60, you're mostly safe. Entities will normally not spawn. Um, I will explain the entities as we progress further. For now, you will just watch. You will just be watching me kind of go through sixty rooms. You can use your vitamins. Uh, I would actually recommend using vitamins for room one hundred instead of wasting all of them in the rooms right now. But I mean, it's optional. You can do it if you want. You can just ignore my advice, but. Yeah. Now, as you can see, the first 60 rooms are really boring. You can just skip to where A60 starts in the other way, and then I start explaining about the entities. And, yeah. And the rooms are also a great place to knob farm because there's so much gold. And just going through one of the axes, I think it gets you 100 knobs or something. I don't remember correctly, but I think the rooms are a great place to not farm. That's a 40. Now, you will be wanting to put it on your flashlight. I recommend putting starting to put it on at around a 90 to 100 because that's when it starts getting really dark. Oh uh, yeah, that's a lot. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, yeah. That's a fake out. That wasn't a real sound. The real A60 coming sound. So. Yeah, we're almost at A50. And as long as well I work <laughs> and I've been walking for 4 minutes and 30 minutes 30 seconds straight with nothing to Okay, that was in I'll be explaining later. Oh, I uh, hear.
Yeah, they are, they are this A60 on their static noise. That that's the static. He's basically rush in the rooms and that was in honey. I'll explain more on later. That scared me a lot. Um now A60 acts like rush, you just hear that static and motion sound is it's instead of the normal rush scream. Uh now he can only spawn in rooms with lockers, so don't worry if you're in a room without lockers. Uh, that's why you need a flashlight too, because so you can locate the locker quickly and hide. Now after that, you will be passing through multiple A60 attacks during during the entire one. You may encounter to 42 up to 50 A60s. So yeah, there's a lot of A60s you want to deal with. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Definitely be experienced with A60 because he has killed me quite a bit of times. I'm not sure if you hear it, but that weird noise behind me is just my computer going. As you can see, it's getting a lot dimmer now than the start. So, this is why you wanted the flash. This is why. Uh, still, you can see pretty well. So, I will not recommend using flash starting from here. Uh, as I said, start using it from somewhere between A90 and A100. Which is where this video will be ending. Yeah, was A60 again? Was it? No. Yeah, sometimes you hear those fake outs, and they can confuse you a lot. So yeah, just in case. Well, even when you do hear a fake, oh, I already come with that. Anyways, uh, yeah. As you can see, we're approaching A90, where A90 will start spawning. A90, he often spawns in combo. You heard a static, you enter a locker, and A90 will attack. Not, not attack, appear. Now, A90, um, he detects movement. So, if you move, like, t like turn your screen around, any type of moving, moving, co going out of lockers, it will all kind of move. He will 90 damage you, and he is one of the most annoying entities. There he is again. He will, he's one of the most annoying entities in the entire game. Probably the room's version of Screech. He also done 90 damage, that's why I wanted you guys to be at full HP before entering the rooms. So, yeah. Any type of movement of screen, um, crouching, will count as movement. So, ver be very careful with A90. He, he, for some reason, the mobile A90 seems a little less sensitive. He, he actually really kills me. He only killed me when I was... Stuck. Somewhere. I think I hear a 60. Yeah, there's a 60. A90 comboed with. Okay, that's the end of this video because we're gonna hit A100 now. 